Weblog Music is a web-based platform for performers to improvise in asynchronous virtual ensembles and for audiences to experience these performances in ways that reflect the impacts of digital mediation on human interaction, the human value of a sense of presence with others, and the potential of mediation as an expressive element in performing arts. True synchronization on the internet is impossible, and nothing exposes that impossibility like musical performance. It's even a challenge for live marching bands and antiphonal ensembles. Many approaches attempt to sidestep that challenge in various ways, but they end up imposing certain structures on the musical surface, limiting the kinds of music that can be made. Network glitches can also interfere and ruin the illusion of live interaction. Instead of trying to bypass or conceal those qualities, weblog music embraces them in order to explore what forms of expression emerge most natively and naturally from humans in a digitally mediated platform. On weblog music, each mix is a performance that lives in a web browser. The mix is built up in a diachronic structure, out of real time, like comment threads on a blog site, or like reaction or response videos on YouTube. You might think of it as being like TiVo or a DVR for free improvisation. Many video games now use a similar turn-based, time-shifted structure to allow players to compete against other real players, each in their own time, while making it feel live in the moment. We still have many forms of bidirectional communication that are asynchronous. As you write a message to someone, you feel their presence and imagine their reactions, even though you recognize that the person on the other end doesn't actually feel your presence as you write. Then, as they read your message later, they feel your presence as if communicating to them live in the moment, even though you may be off doing something else at the time. Using the structure of today's screen-mediated communications, our performers contribute their parts one at a time, responding to what was played before, and together they build born digital performances that expose the quirks of network communications and make something genuinely human with it. As the audience, we witness performances that only exist in our web browsers in the moments we're viewing them. Instead of network glitches breaking the illusion of simultaneous community, we embrace the fact that unpredictable aspects of the network can intervene and in a way remix our performances. Those glitches in the moment can influence the human performers and may permanently shape the mix as it grows. Since each mix builds its own family tree of performances, with each individual track in the mix being influenced by a subset of tracks that came before it, this family tree of influence becomes tangled, allowing ideas to survive, recombine, and transform as any idea can on the internet. And there can be no definitive version of the performance. Let's watch a few different viewings of the same moment in one mix. Different performers' tracks are loaded each time, and unpredictable aspects of the network make them load differently each time, so the surface of the performance can be very different with each viewing. But can you start to detect an underlying structure that is common to every instance of this mix? A kind of musical family resemblance? You might be thinking, well, I know the people on the screen can't hear me, so it's not the same as being there. And that's right. Digital communication is not the same as being there. This is the situation of digital creativity that we are exploring. Still, performers do find themselves surprised by seemingly impossible coincidences, as if the people on the screen can hear you in real time after all. For example, a recorded track matching the pitch already being played by a live performer. Great minds think alike, I suppose. And this is a great platform to explore that aspect of creativity. 
What led multiple performers to make similar creative decisions independently? Weblog music features mixes that were initiated by signature artists like Eric K.M. Clark of the California Ear Unit and the Southland Ensemble, Joseph Butch Rovan of Brown University and formerly a researcher at EarCom, and Downbeat Critics Poll Award winners Carl Berger and Myra Melford. We encourage non-musicians to join us as well. Not only dancers and performance artists, but also visual artists and writers. Anyone who can find a way to do what they do in real time while responding to a mix as it plays on the Weblog Music website. Computer-based performers are welcome to contribute to any of our mixes, but we've also created mixes just for electronic artists in order to explore their unique aspects of presence in performance, such as the live sampling mix and the screen capture mix. Weblog Music has been presented at conferences of the International Society for Improvised Music and Seamus, the Society for Electroacoustic Music in the United States, as well as the Networked Music Festival. Many performers have joined us so far, and you can make music with them in your home right now. How can you join us? Well, to play along, all you need to do is load weblogmusic.org, pick a mix, and play. Listen, watch, and respond with your creative voice. Each mix has an audio-only, mobile-friendly version, too. To contribute a track to Weblog Music so that others will hear you when they visit the site, just record yourself playing along and upload it following the directions on our website. If you have an idea for starting a new mix, we're open to that, too. Join us in exploring the creative potential of time-shifted improvisation. <laughs>